Ilya Suskover is back, and we have new information about SSI, his brand new AI company that seems to be competing directly with OpenAI. I'm gonna explain what led us here, and then I'm gonna tell you all the new information we know about his new company. Ilya Suskover was one of the original founders of OpenAI way back, years ago. And that's what we're seeing in the picture here. This is Ilya right here. Here's Sam Altman, Greg Brockman. Here's Mira Marathi, their CTO, and Jacob Pachaki. And Ilya is one of the most influential and top minds in the world of AI. But if you remember, just about a year ago, Sam Altman was fired from OpenAI and what was discovered to be a coup kind of led by Ilya Sutskever. Apparently, he and some other board members got together and decided to fire Sam Altman, the CEO and co-founder of OpenAI. The exact reason they did so is still a little bit blurry, but we do have information. And OpenAI at the time put out this blog post, November 17th, 2023, OpenAI announces leadership transition. And here is the key paragraph. Mr. Altman's departure follows a deliberative review process by the board, which concluded that he was not consistently candid in his communications with the board. That basically means he was lying. He was lying to the board. There's no other way to put it. But of course, as you all know, just within a few days, Sam Altman was back at the helm, completely restructured the board. Microsoft's Satya Nadella helped negotiate the deal, also basically threatened to hire everybody from OpenAI. And so, yeah, Sam Altman was back in the seat. But at the same time, a lot of people think Ilya Sutskever kind of initiated this whole coup because he saw something inside of OpenAI. He saw some new technology, AGI, something where he got really scared and he was also scared of the way that OpenAI was handling it and was really prioritizing getting products out the door instead of safety. And so this meme came to be. What did Ilya see right here? So what did Ilya see? And then after all of that drama over basically a one week period, Ilya Suskover went silent. We did not hear anything from him for a very long time. He wasn't fired. He didn't leave the company, but he was just kind of in purgatory inside this company, probably figuring out what he wanted to do next. Because if you take a shot at the king, you best not miss. And he missed, and now he's gotta go. Then he announced on May 14th, 2024, after almost a decade, I have made the decision to leave OpenAI. The company's trajectory has been nothing short of miraculous, and I'm confident that OpenAI will build AGI that is both safe and beneficial under the leadership of Sam Altman, Greg Brockman, and Mir Marathi. Now, I don't believe this post for a second, because if he really believed OpenAI was going to achieve AGI safely, he probably would have stayed and wouldn't have left the company that was going to do that exact thing, achieve AGI safely with SSI, his new company. And I'll tell you about that in a moment. And a lot of what people think he possibly saw is Strawberry and QSTAR. And we've gotten more information over the last few weeks about those different technologies. I've made multiple videos about them. Check it out in the description below. And so we've had multiple articles come out over the last few weeks explaining that Strawberry and QSTAR is a new way to give large language models longer term thinking, get better at math, get better at reasoning, and what we've heard even more recently is that Strawberry QSTAR is being used to actually generate synthetic data for OpenAI's next frontier model, GPT-5. And the reason this is so important is because we are running out of public data. Basically, all the modern LLMs have been trained on all of the public data available. And so there's really two solutions to this. One, you can either do a lot more with the data you have, and that's certainly a path forward, but we haven't really seen that in play yet. And then the other is synthetic data. So using one model to create data for another model. But what we've kind of seen is that when you're using derivative data like that, the next trained model doesn't really perform all that much better. But now apparently if you're able to create really high quality data and think long term about it and have better logic and reasoning that that synthetic data is actually really good. And then just a few months ago, Safe Super Intelligence Incorporated was born. This is the new company by Ilya Sutskever and a couple other folks and I'll explain who they are as well. And as we read this, keep in mind this is the company that Ilya started after leaving OpenAI for not doing what they needed to do with safety. And so put this in the context of this is what he thought OpenAI needed to do, but didn't. Super intelligence is within reach. Building safe super intelligence, SSI, is the most important technical problem of our time. We have started the world's first straight shot SSI lab with one goal and one product, a safe 
Super Intelligence. It's called Safe Super Intelligence Inc. SSI is our mission, our name, and our entire product roadmap because it is our sole focus. Our team, investors, and business model are all aligned to achieve SSI. Now, if their only goal is to achieve Safe Super Intelligence, the business model is a little bit blurry to me, but they've raised a lot of money, and that is the new news that we have today, and I'll get to that in a second. Our singular focus means no distraction by management overhead or product cycles, and our business model means safety, security, and progress are all insulated from short-term commercial pressures. I don't know how you can raise money from venture capitalists and say that actually our number one goal isn't commercial success, it is safe super intelligence because they don't care about that. As a venture capitalist, you're giving money to get the return because you have to answer to LPs and GPs, which are the people who invest in your funds. So it just seems like a contradictory incentive to say the least, but maybe I'm missing something. And so the three people who started this company are Ilya Sutskever, who we've already talked about, Daniel Gross, and Daniel Gross is an American entrepreneur and investor known for his involvement in the field of artificial intelligence. He's the co-founder of SSI and former chief scientist of OpenAI. He was the youngest founder accepted into Y Combinator's program in 2010. He launched a company which was later acquired by Apple in 2013. Then we have Daniel Levy, the third co-founder of SSI. Daniel Levy has a PhD in computer science from Stanford University, no big deal worked at Facebook, worked at Google, also worked as a member of the technical staff at OpenAI. That's likely where all three of these people met. And then finally, now is the co-founder and principal scientist of Safe Super Intelligence. So what an incredible team to put together. And now for the new information, SSI has raised a billion dollars, a billion dollars for basically just an idea. And you know what? That really speaks a lot to not only the current state of the artificial intelligence market where investors are clamoring to ram money into any AI company, but also look who it is. It's Ilya Sutskever. It's Daniel Gross. It's Daniel Levy. These are the absolute rock stars of the AI industry. Three-month-old SSI valued at $5 billion. Funds will be used to acquire computing power and top talent. So that is aligned with their mission. And their investors include Andreessen Horowitz and Sequoia Capital. These are two of the most prominent venture capitalists in Silicon Valley. And Again, I don't know how they can put so much money in, but commercialization isn't their number one goal. It really seems like that incentive is misaligned. And here's the funny thing. Both of those investors, A16Z and Sequoia, are invested also in open AI. So they have invested in what seems to be open AI's direct competitor, and they put a lot of money in it as well. Andreessen Horowitz participated in a $300 million fundraising round for open AI, which took place in April, 2023. And on the Sequoia website, OpenAI as an investment. So they have also invested in OpenAI. There's so much conflicts of interest here. It's kind of making my head hurt. What do you think about all of this? Do you think that a venture capitalist should invest in a company where the first and foremost mission is to reach AGI safely and not commercialize the technology as their priority. Do you think A16Z and Sequoia investing in SSI is a conflict of interest with OpenAI? Let me know in the comments. And interestingly, in this Reuters article, unlike OpenAI's unorthodox corporate structure implemented for AI safety reasons, but which made Altman's ouster possible, SSI has a regular for-profit structure, and they're talking about the fact that OpenAI was a nonprofit and then converted into a for-profit or the nonprofit owns the for, it's very confusing. So SSI is currently focused on hiring. Most of all, Gross, Daniel Gross said they spend hours vetting if candidates have good character and are looking for people with extraordinary capabilities rather than overemphasizing credentials and experience in the field. One thing that excites us is when you find people that are interested in the work that are not interested in the scene in the hype. So basically the stuff I talk about. SSI says it plans to partner with with cloud providers and chip companies to fund its computing power needs, but hasn't yet decided which firms it will work with. So a billion dollars going to somebody, likely NVIDIA. So that's it. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.